Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is February 11th, 2016, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the markets, wow, what a week. Um, first, let's look at the economic calendar today. Two major events today in the economic calendar coming to the United States. First, we have at 3.30 South African time, and we have the weekly unemployment numbers that are coming out. And then at 5 p.m. South African time, we have Fed Chairman Yellen will be testifying in front of Capitol Hill. That is a major event, obviously, as she spoke yesterday as well, and we see how that affected the market. So let's jump into the graph and see some, let's do some work. Looking at the biggest mover was obviously gold yesterday. Look at that, at 1,200. We had mentioned this the other day that we had expected to see some sort of buying, some sort of pressure on the upside, and sure enough, it happened within a day. I mean, I was saying that, you know, we'd probably get to 1200 I didn't expect that we'd get there so quickly. Uh, it's a $50 move uh, just from uh, two days ago. So that is really a major, major move um, on the gold. Um, you know, on the upside, uh, are we hitting resistance? Look, we're above this previous level, okay, where we had this, you know, we were trading in this range between, I would say, you know, 12:30 and 10:50, and we had this in this this move right here was a very very significant move because we had this little rally, and then it faltered, and we sold off sharply, and we sold off even harder than we sold off before. It from 10:80, we sold off to 10:50. Uh, <clears throat> we're trading at this 10:50 level right now. Uh, and we bounced off of it, not right now, we we bounced off this 1050 uh, level over the winter, and now we're trading at 1209. So we're higher than this 1180-ish level uh, that we were roared before. And so it's it's proving itself to be um, changing its course, changing its element, and becoming more of a bullish symbol. So, I mean, ultimately, I think my year-end uh, target will be 1400 um, as I think the markets are going to uh, sell off in the equity markets. But for right now, it's hard to catch this because this is really, you know, chasing it up uh, as it's gone from 1050 to uh, 1200 over the past you know, month, month and a half. Uh, so what I would suggest doing is just wait for a pullback. Any significant level, if it pulls back to 1280, 1180, excuse me, 1150, even better. Uh, but if you do have these pullbacks, definitely, definitely look to get into it. Looking at the Euro USD, we traded all the way to 1300, uh, excuse me, 113. And jumping from different currencies is a little bit difficult sometimes. Here we're at 1300. There is a, uh, there is a colossal resistance here, as you can see, at, at 1400. So you're going to have to keep an eye on this to see if it does retrace. Or it does sell off, and we're we're going to be hitting a new. Uh, are we going to be hitting a new trading range, or are we starting a new trend, where we're going to make up for some of the losses that we had about a year and a half ago? So this is something you have to really consider when you're looking at the markets. Looking at the Dow Jones, the impetus to everything. Uh, the Dow Jones hit 15,700. We're challenging these lower levels. We're having some serious selling pressure on the stocks. Uh, as corporate earnings are coming out with negative sentiments. So it's something that, you know, you have to really keep an eye on. You know, ultimately, I think we're going to make a correction. I'm not sure between where and, and how, but I think we're going to hit 10,000 before uh, 2017. Um, and that is a major, major, major move uh, in the Dow Jones. Looking at oil here, oil selling off to $27 a barrel. We finally broke this $28. After hitting 32, we rallied a little bit, and then we sold off even more. So, you know, ultimately, I think oil could go down to $25, okay, as we're making it showing tremendous amount of weakness, uh, and it's just continuing, 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 uh, and quite scary uh, for oil companies. I mean, this is really great for companies or personal people that are taking flights and traveling because it's lowering the traveling cost, but obviously... It is affecting a lot of oil companies internationally and a lot of currencies for that matter. So that's something we have to keep an eye on. USD, Japanese yen, big fallout. I'm looking at about 120 pip move uh, just in the past 24 hours, this big sell-off, and we're continuing the sell-off. So, you know, ultimately, 
will look like we're at some sort of a previous support level. I wouldn't call this, yeah, I would call it previous support level. Uh, let's see if we can bounce off of this uh, because the dollar is getting slammed across the board. Uh, so, you know, ultimately, I'd keep an eye on it. I'd keep an eye on USD Japanese Yen today. I'd keep an eye on the Euro USD. Let's see what Yellen comes up with. Let's see if gold actually sells off a little bit, booking their profits, people who have been in, and uh, see how this unfolds towards this end of this week. This is Fred Razak at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.